Now all of these bearings are ball bearings. There are other types of bearings. Here we have several other types. Here's a straight roller or a cylindrical bearing. Here's a spherical bearing. You can tell it has these spherical looking contours on the sides of that bearing. I should point out here bearing A, the straight roller bearing, this can handle only radial forces whereas this spherical bearing, it can handle both radial and thrust forces. Here we have a needle bearing, sorry, a tapered roller, and it can only handle thrust forces uh, oriented in the axial direction. Here we have a needle bearing that can handle only radial forces, and then these bearings E and F, these tapered rollers, these can handle both uh, radial and thrust forces. Here's an example of a tapered roller bearing. This is a pinion gear from a large differential. And here's the tapered roller bearing. We don't have the outer race here. We only have the inner race right there, the separator, and the rollers. And you can see how this rolls very smoothly along the race. Here's another example of a bearing. This is a planetary gear set from a large automatic transmission. If I move the sun gear, you can see the planet carrier that is staying fixed. And we can see how the sun gear meshes with the planet gears. If I rotate the sun gear counterclockwise, the planet gears rotate clockwise, and the ring gear also rotates clockwise. So this is a reverse uh, reverse direction for this planetary gear set. Now we have a needle thrust bearing right here that helps to s separate and allow relative rotation between two components in the transmission. So you can see where that is right there. I can slide it off. You can see the surface that it rests against. And you can see all of the rollers that are held within this separator. Here I have several other examples of bearings. Here we have a double row ball bearing and if we look at the surface of the inner race we can see well this looks like it's a self-aligning bearing. Over here we can see well this is a spherical bearing. If we look at the shape of the inner race, this looks like it's also a self-aligning bearing. And here's a single row ball bearing. We don't have the outer race shown here, just the inner race, the separator, and the rollers, the balls.